Um, one thing I would say is that one of the comments that I've written down for myself, and I've kind of just started and read it, is that it says, or that I've said to myself is that I must grow, or in order to grow, um, I must be able to rediscover myself and re rediscover each piece as I do it so that I don't get too repetitive. And that's always a challenge for all of us because we can get to be, oh, that's what this piece will look like and that piece and this piece and whatever. So collage as a process helps me to keep pushing me that way. Um, but also I, I need to encourage myself to feel uncomfortable. And some people will say, well, when do you, when do you think you're done? Or how do you know when you're done? Um, and my, as my mentor would have said, you seek clarity of an idea, but you trust and I trust that it still has mystery and ambiguity. I want them to be referential in a sense, but have multiple viewpoints, multiple entrance points for the viewer to enter with, all, with your own experience. Because you don't need to know where I got them, what I look like, where the stream is, field is, whatever the image is. You don't even need to know that. What's most important to me is that they provide entrance points for you and your experience, whether it is a color or a texture or a shape or a pattern or something that reminds you of a place you visited or your grandmother's home or your grandfather's barn or whatever from your childhood or what you saw last week. Um, if it provides that as an entrance point, that's really interesting to me because your stories are just as valid and maybe more valid than I, because I think if paintings are made well enough, they provide multiple kind of entrance points for the viewer. And you can, should have not only the right, but the obligation to look into them to say how it resonates with you. So all paintings, if they're made well enough, all our work, if it's made well enough, should be in such a place that it is, um, I lost my train of thought when walking in. Um, if it's made well enough, you don't need the story of the artist. It needs to be something that resonates with you. And if that's the case, then it'll be potentially engaging and meaningful. And not only, I think all pieces, if they're made well enough, are not static. They move with each day with your experience. When you wake up in the morning to six months from now, to six hours from now, to six years from now, if they're made well enough, they will have a life of their own. And I think that's really, really important. And so in the making, as in this piece specifically, um, it started from the collage juxtaposition of shapes that I was looking for in a structure of which I'm influenced by my mentor, Nathan Adalvera, who said talking about it, and his work was more figurative, but he talked about starting simple and creating a conversation. A lot of these have a horizontal slash layered juxtaposition that has references to me to Richard Diebenkorn, who I'm influenced by, uh, and now more so to fabulous women, Charlene Van Heil and Amy Silman, because of their process and use of collage and thinking. And so this has some of that horizontal structure and juxtaposition of different shapes that happen because of collage. And part of the palette comes from the surprise of the things that happened in the collage, but also it has references to landscape and some of the field shapes of a particular season, a particular day, that references you can probably see in terms of having almost fall-like references. That's how that weds together, and it leads me to a place that I don't know where it's going to go when I start. And that's encouraging and supporting for me.